This is an example of a double-sided board and what you see right now in front of you is the top side of the is the actually the bottom side of the board. You can see the uh, traces. You can see the different pads where the components will come through and will be soldered. And over here on this side you see the fingers where this board will plug into another bigger assembly to uh, make a complete electronic system. What I would like you to pay attention to here is this pad right here and this pad right here on the right hand side. If we had a need to connect these two points together and uh, we had to use a trace, if you see, if you had a trace coming here from the left towards the right, when it came into this area, because of these two traces that are already here, you couldn't extend the trace from this point to that point without running into these traces and creating a short. So what are we going to do? What can we do? How can we solve this problem? To solve this problem, we create what we call a VIA. V -I -A. We have created a VIA right here. So there is a hole which goes on the bottom side. The hole is plated through. So there is electrical connectivity from top to bottom. We create another VIA at this point. So there is electrical connectivity from top to bottom. And then we have a trace on the other side of the board. And actually, if I lift this board a little bit up, you can see the shadow of that trace on the other side. And if I slowly turn the board, then here we are. Here is the trace which connects this point to the top layer with the via. And here is the other side where another via connects this point to the other side of the board. So this is an example of a very simple uh, two-sided board which uh, we had to use a via and a trace only on one side and everything else is on the other side where the uh, all of the foil and the soldering is going to be done.